Hey everybody, I moved the two gallons of mead upstairs and uh, this one not ready yet almost though. Look, look at that, the balloon is uh, getting a little floppy. There's still a little bubbles going on in here. But uh, this one, the one that I did not want to do first, uh, is starting to flop. It is not bubbling anymore and so it is time to move it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one, clean this out sanitize it and then uh, um, by the time I get this cleaned out, which is probably going to take quite a while because of the lime wedges and everything, uh, then I'm going to do this one right here. And uh, by then this will be clean. So uh, let's get started. Okay, all right, we're going to um, see the balloon here. It was a lot flatter than this earlier. I don't know if moving it around has uh, started making the bubbles again. But I'm going to take the balloon off. Maybe. <coughs> uh, it's been on there for a few weeks. So it may. There we go. Just smelling that a little bit. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Okay, this is sanitized, this hose. And this bottle is sanitized down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in and try not to get any of the raisins or any of the mint inside of that hole, but I probably will. But I'm, I'm just trying to move a little hole out here just so I have a fairly clean shot down. Okay. All right, and I'm not going all the way to the bottom. Because I want, I don't want to get this this sludge stuff in there. Okay, so first things first. Mm. Okay, just had to swish a little vodka around in my mouth, and uh, that bottle of vodka was probably from 1958. It was from a collection of my grandma's, so it's really strong. All right, so I'm gonna get this started a little bit. siphoning from the top to the bottom. That didn't work. Ah, here we go. That's why I have the towel there. And I can see where I can see where the hose is up here. So I know I'm not really going to get to the point of sucking up any of the, the goop. I am getting a couple of mint leaves that were just kind of hanging there, but that's okay. That is going down pretty quick. I've got a stopper on it. That's about as low as I can go without sucking up any of the yeast, it looks like. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. I'm starting to get... I got a raisin in there. So I'm, I'm stopping it right now. Um, there's just a little tiny bit left. Okay. Alright, so that's basically it right there. I don't think I'm going to get any of the rest of it out. Um, what I might do is put a coffee filter um, into a, a funnel and then pour some of it in a glass and try it to see how it tastes. But here's what we've ended up with. There's a few pieces of mint in there still, but not much. Um, and I've sanitized this cap. So I'm now going to put that cap on there. And this is going to sit for a few weeks, and then this one right here is the next one. I'm going to I'm going to drain this one out of all the stuff, and then I'm going to transfer these two later, probably in a few days. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. This is a little cloudy.
just a little bit compared to this a little cloudy but I thought I'd try it there's definitely some alcohol content in there hmm <coughs> and it's kind of unique tasting with the chocolate I would not order that on purpose at a restaurant or anything. I may order it on accident and I may drink it or I may not, but it still has a long ways to go right here. Um, I probably let it sit in here for a month or two and then I'll put it in the bottles and then we'll let the bottles sit for a few months to see how they go. There's definitely some alcohol content in there though. This one's next. We'll probably do this one tomorrow or, or in the next couple of days. I don't think I'll need to film it though, because it'll be about the same process. You just put it in uh, from the old one to a clean one. It's nice and sanitized, and then you set this on the shelf, and I'm gonna make sure I can see it so the cap doesn't pop off in case there's any more fermentation. Um, if the cap doesn't pop off in a few days, I'll, I'll just set it up in a nice cool place and uh, forget about it for a while. Okay.